Hi, my friend. How are you doing? I hope you're having fun. In this particular module, we're going to show you how to set up your Facebook fan page. First of all, let's look at the reason why we need a Facebook fan page. If you look at any business or any marketer or any individual in the last two to four years, everybody, I mean everybody but none, has a Facebook fan page. There's something inside a Facebook fan page. That's why everybody has one. Let's look at the reasons and let's dissect them one by one. A personal Facebook account is completely different from a Facebook fan page. Facebook has made a personal account for the social interaction, to post your updates, to connect to your friends and colleagues and say hi to them or post comments in the pictures. But some people do use that aggressively to build their business, which is a complete no no in the books of Facebook. So, Facebook has given us the option of creating a fan page. This is to expand your brand, create your brand avenues, sell your products, and communicate to your clients. You can be in any niche like music, baking, internet marketing, or even dog training. You can have a fan page and build your business. As I told you, a fan page helps you to brand yourself and get your instant authority online. You can also get unlimited reach to interact with. As mentioned earlier, a personal page has only 5,000 friends limitation. But inside a fan page, you can have millions of people who can like and subscribe to your page. Interaction with people sharing the same passion will decide to like your page. When someone likes your page, for example, I liked your page, it means that I give you the confirmation that I am officially your fan inside Facebook. It means that I want to get updates and I want to learn from you. And guess what? Once you have your fan page ready, you can provide value to them, mentor and teach them. You can lead these targeted people because they are from that exact target niche. A fan base of people making money online is pretty different from a fan base of a music community like guitarists, for example. So the first thing you have to understand is a fan base or a Facebook fan page helps us target our niche market and have our followers go there. You can build any sort of business using Facebook fan page, and that's really important. The reach of Facebook gets so much wide, and with the growing popularity of Facebook, everybody is hooked with their laptops, tablets, and smartphones. You can be in any business promoting your own products. You can be a party coordinator, a real estate company, or an online marketing company. You can have a Facebook fan page to promote your business. Why? Because Facebook targets people's interests and their behavioral activities. That's why you can get tons or hundreds and millions of them inside Facebook. So it's easier for you to target them and build a great business. Let's look at a few more basics about Facebook fan page. If you want to create a Facebook fan page, you can just go to facebook.com slash pages slash create. Also, instead of trying to keep up with changes in Facebook cover and timeline photos by searching the internet, check out this page that always has the latest sizes, www.facebook.com slash cover photo size. This is for you to know the appropriate sizes or dimensions for your profile and cover photos. Another thing is, the text inside your cover photo should not exceed 20% of the text to image ratio requirements. You can go to www.socialcontest.com slash check image. So, let's jump inside our sample fan page. Let's look at the details. Once you are inside the fan page, you can see the cover photo and the profile picture. Then you can see a share button to share any kind of updates or stuff. Over here, you can write a little bit of introduction about yourself so they can see what this page is all about and they can get attracted. Also, you can put your website for them to access it right away. On Facebook also, there's an option which is to have your customized link or customized go-to link. So, when somebody visits your Facebook account and they click over here, what happens? They can directly go inside your page or blog or website, whichever you want to promote. So, without you spending a single dime, you can promote your page or your affiliate product or whatever you want. Also, as an advanced marketer, you can have Facebook apps which will be seen on the next videos. 
This is to engage people so you can get leads and make sales. You can see some of the updates too, which you do to talk to your people. This is to teach and mentor and all that good stuff. As I told you on this particular module, it is all about teaching you by just holding your hand step by step. So, let's do one thing. Let's create a page together so you can understand the basics and you can model this after me. Just click Create Page. Once you do that, you will be sent to this particular page. First of all, they will ask what kind of niche do you belong to. So choose what best applies for you. For example, I want to create a page for social media mastery. I'll choose cause or community. Once you've selected that, write the name of your Facebook fan page. Then click Get Started button after that. After a few seconds, they will verify your account. Next is the setting up of your page. First, you'll have to write a short description of what your page is about. Let's write, Helping Online Marketers to Become Social Media Marketing Experts. You can also put your website. I'll use www.retargeterprofitmaximizer.com. Then they'll ask you to choose a unique Facebook web address to make it easier for people to find your page. This is important. Once you make a page, people should be able to find you easily. If I make a page about social media mastery and people search this particular name, they would instantly understand that this page is about some kind of social media training or the like. Once you have done that, click Save Info. Next, put your profile picture. Then, click Save Photo. Then, add to favorites. This means once you add the page to favorites, you can access it from your personal account directly. Then it will ask you to give your preferred page audience. Facebook is asking you now what kind of organic audience you want for your page. This is one of the most important steps once you start creating your Facebook fan page. Depending on what kind of niche you are building, for example, Pitbull Lovers page, is completely different from online marketing or social media mastery page. So I just keep locations and all these blank for now. On interest, let's write online marketing, online traffic or internet traffic, social media. Since I am building a social media page, I'm trying to search for topics like Twitter marketing, LinkedIn, Pinterest, and Instagram. So we got the kind of ideas that we're looking for. Then you click Save. It will show you that your account has been verified and will take you inside your new page. You can already upload your cover photo and profile picture here. You can outsource or create your pictures through canva.com like what we did in the last video. Also, you can create your call to action. Remember, in the beginning of this video, I showed you how to create a call to action for your fans or people who support your page. They can go directly to your fan page and can be one of your leads or subscribers, or you can sell a product. We have done these basic things, so I believe by now you've got an idea on how you can create a page inside Facebook and what the important elements are. If you haven't made a Facebook fan page for yourself, get it done now. Watch this video again and get your fan page done. Let's do it, guys. It was nice making this video for you, and I believe that you're excited by now. And this is going to become better and better as we proceed. So guys, I'll see you in the next video.